No. Is your faith alive? Hi guys, I'm here. I got air rock off the top. And this is Becoming a Jedi Part 1. So, we were here before Adam, descendants of Anu, took on mortal fashion, built themselves statues in the image of themselves, to worship themselves, the tower to themselves, to remind them when they fell. They came from a station in space, an angelical race, giant in stature, helmet and cape that they wore. Visiting this planet to explore long journeys from their own, cause their race had war. They call their planet the bureau, and that they were fallen heroes. They saw gold, saw dreams, and life more liberal. Astronauts with Afro and locks. Jet beam into a gigawatt, they crashed on rocks. 1.21 gigawatts, some passed over clocks. In the tablet legend, they say they opened the floodgates of heaven. All right, I am Ia Ashaya Rakapata, and this is Becoming a the Jedi, part one. All right, on today's series. <laughs> Give me, I got my wax pen here. Shout out to City of Trees. Delivery service. They're dope. They come right to you. Um, this is Becoming a Jedi Part 1. Here today, we're going to talk about the Kundalini, the Spine of Osiris, also known as the Dejed Pillar. We're going to talk about the Wajet Eye and how do you become a the Jedi by being able to unlock the Y Jedi, which is your fourth eye. Okay. We're going to talk about cosmic key, or as humans call it, cosmic chi. Okay. And the spine of Osiris. Yeah, we talk about that. We're going to be talking about tapping into Netor, Netter, or Net to become a Netteru. Okay. Or a being of nature. Okay, in the four or five disclosed, like I said, the Wajedi and the uh, Neo Complex. Okay, so the tapping into a De Jedi. What is a De Jedi in ancient Kemet? They were talking about the the sorcerers of the time who would unlock their Kundalini force, their Kundalini energy, and this is why they were chosen to be kings. And, and, and things over the different layer, the different um lands. It's like killing me, y'all. Where's, let me see where my shade's at. Uh, let's see, give me one second. Light's getting on my nerves. So I'm gonna turn this light off because I was high. Okay. So they would they would have the pharaohs, right? And if you look at the ancient etymology of the word pharaoh, right? Alright, it's actually Arabic in turn because it comes from Sumeria, right? And Akkadian. The fa, right? Meaning father. Ra ra or ro meaning light, the father of light. And this is the, the representation of being the top of the pyramid. This is what the Illuminati stole from us, is the pyramid text, the pyramid. So this is why they were called, you were called a Farah, Pharaoh, right? Or a son of the sun, Sarah, right? As they say in Sirius, this is why you guys see me say this a lot. It's Sarah, son of the sun, all right? Because when you became a god king, this is why the pharaohs were depicted as deities of the gods, the avatars of the gods. Because they unlocked this kundalini force energy from within inside of them and they became and reached their divinity. They unlocked the soul force, the serpentine fire. And these were your ancient sorcerers back in the day.
it said that Khufu had a team of the Jedi, right? Sorcerers, masters of, of the craft of wizardry and, and, and all that stuff, masters of the Kundalini force. And when you were, they, it is said that they were high alchemists who knew how to raise and transmute the Kundalini through all nine chambers and tap into nature, that primal force or the cosmic, right? Chi or key. Now, what is cosmic key? In my science, to do Waku science, cosmic key, right? Not chi for us because we're talking about what is key. A key is a ding, ding, is a tone. Okay? So when you are tapping into a key, a doom, you're tapping into a tone as you hit all nine keys, right? Which is what they show you what? Thoth or Tahuti, right? Who teaches, he teaches the school of the what? The Dejedahudis. So many people be like, oh, I am Thoth. I am Thoth. I am Thoth. No, that means that in your past lives, you studied under Tahuti to become a Dejetahuti, a student of the force or a student of nature. And this is why they show you the, the, tra the alchemy of, of the baboon, the sacred baboon and Thoth, which are one and the same. Thoth is actually, actually was a baboon and it shows you that evolution to becoming a bird, an upright walking bird. So what happens is you would raise that Kudalini energy, which is at the base of your spine, meaning that we have had a misconstruction, a misconstruing of <coughs> what exactly they're talking about when they talk about the Wajet Eye. You got the Eye of Horus, the Eye of Ra, and then you got the Wajet Eye, the oldest eye. So when you look at the eye, the, the eye of Horus, it shows you that it goes down at the back. That is the connection to your fourth eye, your first eye. At the base of what? Your neck, at the nape of what? Your neck. Not everybody has this though. You can tell because you have a knot right there where in Neo, in the Matrix, right, had his little cylinder seal thingy that they were unplugging them from his matrix plug so when you unlock that kundalini force and you hit that key okay that's why i am the master key because i come to bring you what the key of life the key of knowledge the key of wisdom the key of overstanding being able to overlook and this is why i say once again you see the baboon and what the aviant thoth overlooking showing you the uh, the overstanding of overstandings that that thing is your ancestor and this is what that energy transmute to and that's transmutation so the wajit eye right when you hit the key, boom, you unlock the cosmic eye, the fourth eye, the eye that pulls you out of this reality and allows you to see from a higher perspective. And then thus that energy being connects, boom, in a pyramid, boom, crown chakra, third eye, or however you want to see it, boom. Right there to what? The Eye of Ra. Okay. Or the Eye of Horus. Because you have those beings who have a solar eye. And then you have those beings who have a lunar eye. Which is the Eye of uh, eye of um, Isis. Or this be the Eye of Horus. 
And it says that once you unlock that energy, you transmuted that energy and you unlocked it to the bird faction of yourself, you became a Heru. Now, Heru connects to the constellations as the hero constellation. You became a hero. And this is why it says, and it was stolen from the text inside of the Bible, that you are a man of renown. Hero of what? Old. And this is where they take your mythologies and your mythos and all this stuff from. They took it from Nubia. They took it from Kush. They took it from the, the factions and the remnants of these kingdoms that once was who ruled the entire earth. If you could not tap into the energy of the earth, if you could not raise that Kundalini force, you were not chosen to become a ruler of the earth or a lord of the earth or a Ferah. Or Pharaoh, or an Enki. In key. Kai has got the key. Kai has got the key in key. Because remember, in Babel is where we what learn how to cast spells. So y'all gonna have to learn how to follow me on a lot of this stuff because I only I. Sapka. And Kai have the key. I have the tone. So when you hear my voice fluctuate, follow me, walk with me, ride this way. <laughs> because in Babel is where we cast spells. Nothing is in, 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 in occult text is just dumbed down and simplified. We talk in mysteries because we talk in what? My stories. So how can you say you're an occultist if you do not talk in what mysteries and you cannot understand the fourth eye is used to decode what you see, what you hear. It's that thought at the back of your mind. You ever been in some shit and you'd be like, oh, shit, I had that thought in the back of my goddamn mind. <laughs> yes, your fourth eye. That's the Wajet eye. And when you unlock that energy, just like I've seen me do it before, you you unlock that energy and you become a what? When you connect the words in the spelling of Wajedai, you become a what? Wajedai. A the Jedi. Master of the Force. And they steal this cosmic stuff and they make it in movies because it comes from that time frame. Heroes, all that shit. Now, how do we do this? We tap into the Dejed pillar, the spine. 33 ladders in Jacob's ladder, the 33 steps in Jacob's ladder, that came from Nubia. That came from the Dejed pillar, which is your spine. You raise this energy from the back. Of, uh, from from your your, your uh, base of your spine, and you raise that energy up. Ugh. You feel it? You and raise that energy up. This is how the pyramids were built with the mind, because we were able to tap into what free energy. What is free energy? Free energy is cosmic key or earth key. So when you tap into the key of the earth, the zero point of the earth, you begin to what? Tap into free energy. And this is what the pyramids were built for. We were built, they we built them for free energy. Infinite energy. Cosmic energy. Cosmic chi. Because we connected the, the energy of the earth with the, the chakras of, of the universe. Because everything was in what? Oneness. That is cosmic key. Cosmic chi. So when the, the, the think, 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 think. The, the reptile as itself goes through a transmutation process. Did you not know? Do you guys not know that? That when they found most of your T-Rexes, dinosaurs, they had feathers. They had feathers on them. 
So what's the difference between a reptilian and a bird and an avian? And they show you this in America, how they split you up, how they make you fight against yourself when all is one. The spine of Osiris, because they said that Osiris was what? Dissected. That is the dissection of the Syrian star system where Earth was created. Where this tone, this key was created. Where this place was created, it was created in the Syrian star system called Sawu. Sa or Sawu. Or Sararu. The place of heavenly fire. Before the earth was terraformed. And this is how you have the, the sun, the black sun, the sun inside of the earth. That's inside the cube inside of Earth. Why do you think if you look at the etymology of Osiris, Osirius, this is the union of the factions of, of Orion and Sirius. So this is what you're watching in Star Wars. So the Dejed Pillar when you raise it and you raise the, the, the serpent, this is why they show the pharaohs having what? A serpent in what? A bird or a vulture or I'm not too sure what it is. A, it is a, a bird right there showing you the right and the left. Look it up. They show you it's a it's a bird right next to what? A snake. And then when you had two snakes up there, that meant that you were double divine. That you or, or two birds when you have both of them. So you show they show you the evolution that is the Wajet or the Ouroboros. Well the Ouroboros is the is the zero point. And this is why in South Africa you find all these what? Stones, circles that what? When you hit them, they make a what? A key sound. Sound is what was taught. And what that key did was tap into Netur or the Netaru realm. Nater. Nature. Nature. And when you tapped into nature, that primal force of the earth, of the ground, of key, see, take it back to ancient Sumerian. They called earth what? Key? They called this place key. And you tap into that nature, that nature or that natural force and you raise that energy up through the 33 pillars of Os Osiris's spine or the Dejet pillar. You open and waken up that Sleeping Shiva, that fourth eye. But not very many people know about the fourth eye. But know that you saw it here first, and I've spoken of it here first. The fourth eye. Now, what does this have to do with the Matrix? The Matrix, right? Because we're going to have to close this out soon. The Matrix, right? Talked about what? Neo. Now, use your fourth eye. Your fourth eye is what you use to decode this reality. Right? Your fourth eye is that is your quantum eye. Because remember, quantum is four. It's the quantum eye. So you can see and perceive from a higher perspective when you tap into this eye. When you and you feel that tingle up your spine, that's that's the serpent. That's 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 it. So when you tap into that neo, right? The neo complex, 
right, is the neocortex, okay? This is, it is said that humans did only did not have a neocortex, so they lacked what? Empathy, okay? So from there, you ha you got your third eye. So you start tapping into what? The one, really. The neo or the eo or the neo part because humans are going through an evolution where they're becoming neo sapiens not the technological race we're talking about neo sapiens sapiens the, they're going to a, a eonic level they're going to fifth dimensional level because that's where, where eons live or they're fifth dimensional pure beings but the neo cortex was the addition that they had when the, the, the that stage of evolution so when they they jump from homo sapien homo uh, homo homo sapien homo sapien or uh, homo homo sapien or whatever it is i'm high um you're ever evolving and this is the gene x gene 10 which is really just gene what zero or gene one See how you follow it? Zero plus one equals one. Use your fourth eye. Your fourth eye. Being able to decode different things. Because just like in the Matrix or just like, uh, what is it? The movie They Live, where they had... Um, the glasses, the shades. I wish I had mine around here. That's why I was trying to show y'all. Because once you tap in to, the, to it, I don't see any motherfuckers nowhere around here. Anyway, whatever. They had Roddy Piper and that one black dude or whatever. And he was, uh, he was tapping, he, they was tapping in, they had the shades on and they was able to decode reality and they was able to see what people really looked like and shit like that. Motherfuckers be depixelizing. Our cameras be catching this shit all the time. Y'all catch motherfuckers reptilian eyes and shit, slits and shit and y'all catch it. And yeah, so that's, that's what your fourth eye is. It, it's that lens that you just, oh shit, I could see through it all. Oh shit. I could see through it all. Oh, wow. Okay. And having your fourth eye unlocked allows you to perceive reality from forethought or perceive it from the past as well as the future. You're, you're unlocking 720 degrees. 120, like I say all the time, 120, 120, 120, 120. The pyramid. The angles of light. So, tapping into that primal force, the Wajet Eye. And this is why they say in Star Wars, they are what? The Jedi's. And what were they able to do? They were able to have a, uh, 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 uh um, the fuck is that thing that they use? A lightsaber, which was thought. Think about it. They had a lightsaber and thought. The lightsaber was representative of Simhadi, laser-focused thought, right? So, because they were able to levitate shit with their minds, everything you've seen in the movies, we were able to tap into. We still are. That's why we're here. To come bring what? The keys. So, the, j j j they, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the key that you see, that's representative, and then the whole little, uh, saber, or the lightsaber, or the, the key, and the key of thought, it talks about how, oh, I would raise the key of vibration, boom, and made everybody glitch and freeze. A lot of people can't understand the key of the, 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 the Emerald Tablet to thought, but you gotta really listen to what he, it says, because he says, I get this story from what? My Fatir, or my father. I got it from Pata. Ptah was the father of Tahuti. 
And he taught him, he said, my father taught me the inner mysteries and he took me into what inner earth. This is where all of these major spots are guarded from because their access points to inner earth to go see what the dweller. But that's, that's, that's another topic. <laughs> Why do you think they got all these monuments to these different deities? This is to get inside inner earth. Y'all better start sharing these videos because this information is not going to be available all the time. We're going into an age where we need to get this information out because star seeds are becoming star adults and we're losing direction. But I come here to bring you the celestial information, the celestial keys, because I remember I was there when they built the pyramids. I was there. I could see it. I remember it. I, I I marked its measurements. I was there. I have all the memories, the keys that we need to unlock what? DNA. Because what is DNA? It's solid sound. Do you not know when the when you when sound activates, your DNA activates. Even as I'm talking right now, I'm causing change in effect that is what it means to be human hue meaning i got a neocortex now so now i can what speak i can say a tone so now i'm who okay now what is who who is what the ancient dragon the first utterance of what a dragon or the higher vibration of a serpent and then a higher vibration of, 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 of a serpent is also, or, or, or a dragon is also an avian. Understand, I come to bring you the knowledge of the star races. I come to bring you the knowledge of your celestial ancestors, the unspoken word, who, man, God, man. It says that ye are gods and ye are all sons of what? The most high. What is the most high? The most high is on the mountain. Because in ancient times, Orion was seen as a mountain. I come to bring you the 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 information of own the most high the most high what star in the sky So I, that's why I'm here bring you that information about the star races. There are more than just the Anunnaki. Notice Anunnaki. It is not the words you are looking at. It is the tones and the dialect of what you are saying. Anunnaki. Meaning I come with a key. To what? I come to what? Key from on heaven. New, right? The celestial waters, the firmament above the earth, as it says in Nubia. What? Nubian. I am a new being. So this is why I come and bring you new Waku. New meaning celestial waters. I come from on New. See how the primitives had to talk? I come from on new to key. I come from on own heaven to from the celestial firmament to the keys of the earth to bring you this knowledge, this tone, this wisdom, and this overstanding. 
So take heed when I, when I speak my tones and my language and my dialect and my lingo. Because this is what we came here to do. We brought here. We came here from heaven to earth to bring you tones, keys. Not for enslavement. Not just for gold. Overstand this very well. What does gold do? Gold is an order of transmutation. Because when you tap into what? Ormus gold and you are tapping into that kundalini energy, you begin to what? Vibrate. And from vibration becomes what? Sound. This is why he said he will come with the what? Keys to the earth. The tones of the earth. This is why it says in key or in. Because what? What is that? That is a tone. Because we spoke as humans and clickage. We spoke in the words, in the language of tone. Why do you think your clock makes that sound? Because how do you keep time? Time through what? Sound and tones. If I make a here and a here, that creates a one point in space and one point in another space, uh, in which creates a duration, which is time. The geometry of the universe. So... Before I get a little too deeper, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go cut this off, y'all. It's been an amazing one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, slap some uh, some uh something for us real quick. And uh, we're going to go look out more for deep, deep science where we go into this stuff. And I'm just going to start pouring out my cup to you. It says his cup runneth over. My cup comes and runneth over. See? And this is what they took from the, the, the Bible, right? The Bible, the book that of spells, right? That they took from Babel, right? And then they said, we got to kill Babylon. We got to kill Babylon. What are you talking about? Babylon was where we learned sorcery. So they was like, go kill the wizards. Go kill the fucking wizards. We can't understand what the fuck they're saying. Go ki go let's go kill the wizards. Go kill the, the Jedi. And then what happens? Just like as above, so below, boom, war happened. They took the, the libraries, they burned the libraries of Alexandria. The fuck the libraries of Alexandria. What about the libraries in Nubia and Cushion? They won't show you the older pyramids that are cylindrical that match the pyramids of Amaru Mars. Which uh, is based off of America. So where are we at? Where are we at? The people have no news that is in coordination with their spirits. Because of this, they are the tunnel in the world. Frequencies in nature, you'll speak to me in paper They sleeping on my dreams while I'm keeping this shit major Species ain't in danger, but we bringing the danger Vocalizing the culture, emphasizing the nature Redefining the sculptures, eliminating the haters We align with solar, that's the true gangster Killing negative thoughts, envy and anger And jealousy, heavenly frequencies Thank you on that priesthood, that beasthood Just cooling out where the green's good and moving like a G should weave it on through your hood, baby. With my brain on safety, spelling it out in HD for them deities to embrace me, making me strong as ever. Breaking on down your heartstrings, now I control the weather. Fuck your drama, I'll be on a tetragrama, 26 letter. Yeah, you know it better than to fuck with holy bloodlines. Prone to raise the vibe up, deliver when it's crunch time. Study your sun sign, so keen that so stream. I don't get in that zone where I can make both of them cold screens. Holding the keys, yeah. The key 
make it special His body, mind, temple, I dwell in a sacred vessel Decibel signs, man, cool social defiance These oceans collide and it's got me open to the silence We red giants, I ain't trying, this is effortless Moving like some weapons, you better off not to step to it Frequencies in nature, you'll speak to me in paper They sleeping on my dreams while I'm keeping this shit major Species ain't in danger, but we bringing the danger Vocalizing the culture, emphasizing the nature Redesigning the sculptures, eliminating the haters We align with solar, that's a true gangster Killing negative thoughts, envy and anger And jealousy, heavenly frequencies It's all feel now, the eagle in the sky The beast on the rise, he's grown in size The Roman priest has ties Holy grail, show you the tales His face is ghostly and frail Head goes in the shell, heaven or hell the legend of spells, the serpent has scales, Trojan dragon slayer, he put his dagger through.